Support is a key factor in marriage and especially in pregnancy. Well, not my pregnancy, but when my wife was pregnant. Many men and husbands don't elaborate too much on how they were actually there for their wife, for their spouse, nine to 13 months of pregnancy and breaking it all down. Well, I'm gonna put it all out there for you on this episode of What Up Pops. This video is gonna be about how and what I did to support my wife during and after pregnancy. My wife had the most beautiful pregnancy of nine months that I've ever witnessed in my life. And it was the only one that I witnessed in my life. And she carried our son, Micah, and Micah is good and healthy and we love him so much, but many don't know that he had the umbilical cord wrapped around his neck twice. And this prevented my wife from giving a natural birth, so we had to comply with having the emergency C-section delivery. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, what is the C-section delivery? Is it actually a C? Like the way I I know you're not probably saying that, but that's what I was thinking. <laughs> but I really wanted to know what it was, so I looked it up. C-section is a cesarean delivery, and it's a surgical procedure that's used to deliver the baby through incision of the abdomen and the uterus. And that's a perfect segue to go right over into how I was there to support my wife. And the first point is to educate yourself. So it's not enough just to know what you think you know about pregnancy. You know, everybody knows that you get a belly. Everybody knows that you have to go to the hospital. Everybody knows that, um, you know, the doctors are going to be trying to pull the baby out and all of that. Those are the things that us guys think. Like, we don't think about all of the other things that come along with pregnancy. So what I normally did was I just listened to my wife. I listened to everything that she spoke to me about. I listened to the stuff that she researched. I listened about all of the things that she looked up on Google, even though the doctors tell you not to look up on Google that much, but I listened to everything that she said. I went and researched it on my own and I screenshotted everything. So fellas, make sure you screenshot. Screenshot those articles, screenshot those blogs, screenshot everything that you can so that you can have something to talk about with your wife because she wants to know that you're not just a you know rock on the log that's just looking around like, uh, pregnancy, C-section, epidural, <laughs> contractions, <laughs> trimester. Education is support for your wife. Make sure you remember that. So another thing that we have to make sure that we do as men, we have to make sure that we're sensitive to our wives. We have to make sure we encourage them. And we also have to make sure that we're supportive. I mean, think about it. She's just gone through the most traumatic experience of her life nine to 12 months of a motion picture. That seed that came from the fellas has now turned into a six to seven pound baby human in her stomach. Baby human in her stomach. Men will never know how it feels to be pregnant. We will never get a chance to experience this. So with that being said, you have to be sensitive to what you don't know. If your wife says that she can't get up and she needs help, help her up. If your wife is feeling sorry for herself and she's feeling like she's ugly or something like that, you have to tell her she's beautiful. You have to tell her that she looks good. You have to tell her her body looks awesome. It looks amazing. My wife was so sexy during pregnancy. Wow. So fellas, just encourage her. Tell her that you're there for her. Tell her that you can help her up the steps. Tell her that you don't mind going downstairs to get another ice cream or another ice cream sandwich or whatever it is that she's craving. Go and get it, bring it back, tell her she's beautiful. Mood swings, emotional struggle, pain, physical change, excitement, sadness, all of those things. It's gonna come and it's gonna hit you like a rock in the back of your head. You gotta be ready for it, fellas. You have to be ready, you have to be sensitive, you have to be supportive. But a simple, what do you need, babe? You want some ice cream? Gummy bears? I like gummy bears too. I'll get some gummy bears and eat them with you. Oh, you want a snicker too? Oh, you want me to go back to the store? Oh, you want some crab legs too? You said you want some, what? Some donuts? Water? Soda? Huh? What was that? Huh? You said you want me to go to aisle six? Get all of the candy on the candy aisle? I got you, babe. I got you. Fellas, all in all, just be sensitive because you don't know you haven't experienced what she's experiencing right now. Moving on to my third point, be flexible. You might need to tell your boss, hey, I may need to dip out a little bit early because my wife is gonna call me and I have to go. It has to be mandatory. 
It can't be a, well, I think I can get off or I think I can. No, you need to be flexible. Tell your boss up front in this nine months, this nine month stretch, you're going to have to give me some leeway. You have to be ready to reschedule. There were so many times where there were some basketball trainings or something that I had to do or it was a basketball practice I had to attend. And let's say it was at four o'clock and my wife ended up saying, hey, I have to go to the doctor. I'm not feeling well. I had to cancel or I had to reschedule for the next day with my appointments. So all of those clients that I had, they got to go on the back end because my wife has to come first. Everything that she needs has to come first. Dealing with a pregnancy, dealing with a pregnant woman, a beautiful pregnant woman is mine. You have to make sure that you're able to get off and do what you need to do for your wife. Be ready to drive as far as possible. If your wife wants a caramel apple, you have to drive 40 miles to go get that caramel apple. No excuses. None. And my last point, make sure you're there for her. Make her feel special. There's so many things that you can do. Guys, I'm not going to turn this into a marriage seminar or a single seminar or nothing like that. But, I mean, the small things count. It's the little things. The little things. Getting her some flowers. Grabbing her a piece of candy on your way home. Or um, just helping her, to, helping her to take her clothes off so that she can, you know, relax or something like that. I don't know how it feels to reach down to my pants and try to take them off with six to seven pounds in your stomach. I don't know what that feels like. You know, maybe I can put a basketball in my stomach or something and try to bend over and see, but I will never know what it feels like to have something in your stomach pushing on your organs, pushing all on you so that you can just take your pants off and just relax. I don't know what it feels like. Be sensitive. Help your wife. Hey, let's go get some ice cream. Hey, let's walk down aisle six. Get all the candy you want. Make her feel special, man. You never know what that's going to do for you. And you never know what that's going to do for her in the long run. As far as the C-section is concerned, just being, like I said, being near, taking care of her. Uh, my wife had a scar on her abdomen. And there were many times where the touch like even the smallest touch would just, it'll be so critical to her. And she's just in agony. She's in pain. And I would just walk over to her. And if she's sitting on the couch, I walk over to her and I'll just like give her a belly rub or something like that. Or I would take the ointment or whatever. And I would just rub it on the scar and just making sure that I let her know that she's, everything is okay. You know, I'm here for you. You don't have to worry about anything. You still look beautiful to me. Make sure that you're helping your wife and alleviating as much as you can off of her. Like you wanna take as much pressure off of her as possible. And I think that is the greatest thing that you can do. That's the greatest gift that you can give your wife. That's the greatest gift that you can do for uh, that pregnant spouse that you have is just making sure that you take the load off. They already have a load here but you want to take the load off their shoulder. So, you guys be blessed. It's been awesome. Until next time, what up, Pops? <laughs> do, do, do.